I'm gonna get some better light in there in a second. Gonna get his little furry friend out of the package. Monty doesn't eat frozen. He refuses, so he has to eat live. Um, if you don't feed him live, he doesn't eat, and then he'll starve. So here's our little mousy friend. There's Monty. He's starting to stir. He sees what's happening in his cage. We're going to get some more lighting in here. Just got to... And then there's this tree. Well, there was this um, usually goes in there, but if you don't take away Monty's hides, he won't eat. So he also has um, this tree. I use it because um, it has a, a lot of good rubbing spots for him to get his shed off. So hold on one second. We got to take it out of there for the mouse hides and... Monty doesn't really prefer to hunt down his food as much as he likes it just to kind of come to him and, you know, that's my Monty. So, I give him a little tap. Oh no, lunch is here. It usually takes him a little while to catch his food. Um, he's more of a play with it. I don't know, look at it a hundred times before he strikes on it. But he's becoming active. At... Normally we don't hold the snakes on feed day. Um, but I did hold Monty earlier. So he may not eat just out of principle. And then in that case, I just, you know, pull the mouse out. We have um, a habitat we can put the mice in um, if they if we need to um, get them out of here so that Monty can uh, uh, recuperate for the next day. Um, he does have sheds in here. Uh, he just recently shed. So I have to get in here and clean all these bad boys up. I get his his eye caps off. Monty, uh, the other snakes eye caps come off really easy. Jeez, um, but Monty's doesn't. Like he needs help just about every single shed, um, and it's it's not hard. I, on the next shed he has, I'll definitely. Um, put that up there for you um just so you guys can see um what it's like getting his shed off his eyes it's it was hard in the beginning but now I you know I, I he and I have a little method to our madness and he is really good he is the calmest coolest snake in the world like he will literally wrap himself like around my bra strap and sit on me like on my shoulders weaving in and out of my shirt with his tail like latched onto my bra strap for hours I can go about the whole house cleaning I can go outside and do like yard stuff like you know taking recycling out or whatever and Monty will hold tight he won't um try to get off of me um, when we're sitting in bed watching a movie, he uh, likes to lay down by my feet, like wrap himself in my feet. I'm assuming that's because it's warm down there. And he he's a snake, so he's cold-blooded and he needs um, either lamp warmth or warmth from me. He's starting to uh, explore a little. It almost looks like he wants me to pick him back up, but... Um, after feed after feeding time we uh we don't handle them for 24 hours we try not to handle them for the whole day prior um like that whole day um but like i said i did have him out earlier today spending some time with him as i do most days because he's just the most awesome snake and he's looks like he's coiling he's gonna strike this is gonna be amazing water bottle out of the way. Is 
The only thing I don't like about feeding live is that the mouse has the ability to harm the snake. And it's definitely not something you want. But Monty and Sass absolutely 100% will not eat frozen. They will starve themselves before they do it. Um, which is definitely something we don't want. Oh yeah, he's on the hunt. He knows Lynch is here. I get this cord flipped over to the back. Come on, Monty, you can do it. I like this water rock as well because it's um, very um, textured. So he likes to put himself through the water and then rub himself on the rocks. He's, he's a really good shedder. He just, his head and his eye caps don't come off as easy as they should. And he's got good humidity in his cage or in his enclosure oh yeah don't mess around Monty you know you want it go get your lunch he's hiding the little mouse is gonna hide there you go and we measured Monty out oh there he got it um, we measured him out. He is about two feet, four inches. Um, he's got a good side girth on him. Um, I've had him since August of 2020 and it's, uh, April of 2021. So August, <laughs> eight months <laughs> so he's only eight months old um definitely still a baby like he'll keep growing um if he is in fact a boy um he, he he'll go to about three i think three three and a half um but if he goes to um if he become if he is a female which i think he is because he's got the really short stubby tail but some people say, like, you can tell by the tail, and some people say, like, that doesn't really matter, so, um, while he's eating that, like, see, like, the end here is just a little stub of a tail, um, and with my other snakes, they have, like, a really long tail, like, you can tell, like, where the tail starts from the body, and so, I, I don't know, um, I, maybe ball pythons are different, um, I do have two other snakes I'm going to feed today uh, upload that um, so everyone can see and uh, my dog is playing with his toy <laughs> I'm so sorry I apologize stop squeaking it shh wait till we're done with Monty silly boy alright and then Monty I'm just going to put this down so Everyone can see Monty and his. I'm gonna pull this away from my dog because he's being weird.
Okay, looks like he's doing good. I uh, just stepped away for a second so I could get the baby snakes uh, food defrosting. Um, lucky they eat the uh, frozen um, pinkies. I um, I contemplated like how scary it would be, like not scary, how hurtful it would be to put like a tiny little pink mu mouse in with the snakes and. Uh, Luckily, they eat the frozen, so um, I sit and I make sure that um, for each snake, um, and personally, I mean, because I, I, I'm not saying people don't love their snakes, but I, I do care for them, um, and I sit and watch every feeding, one snake at a time, from start to finish. I mean, yeah, I step away to, like, do other things real quick, but... My focus is on one snake at a time. Um, and I feed them all on the same day. Unless one doesn't eat that day and we have to do it a different day. Um, I would dry erase her on their, um, on, their, when, on their glass. I write the date that they ate so that I know. Especially like if we get off whack and we're not all on the same day. Which has happened. My Monty has gone. Um, oh, he still has a little bit more shed left on his underbelly there. Um, he's gone, you know, weeks without eating, but he's had, you know, the food option there. And that's when we got the, uh, the small little habitat for the mouse that Monty doesn't eat that we can just save for later, I guess. And that's my Monty. He finished. Now, um, without bothering him, I'm going to get his habitats back in there. Um, so he can um, lay down and, and process his food. Monty's got the biggest cage in the house. Uh, he's the biggest snake. I mean, as the other snakes get bigger, they'll get bigger cages too. But right now it's just Monty. And since I said, like I said, he, uh, he fed today, so I'm not going to bother trying to. Sorry if that's loud. Um... I'm not going to bother to try to get those skins out of here right now because now is the time to process and we don't bother him on his <laughs> Look how close he is. It's like he knows. What's happening, Mama? Are you going to get me now? No, I'm not going to get you now. In a little bit, I'll come and dump his water and freshen it up for him. Um, as I do a couple times a day, it's pretty hot in his terrarium. I mean, not a couple times a day, at least once a day, but sometimes it goes away faster than I can keep it in there. All right, well, that's it for Monty. Um, he's gonna, this is his warm side of the tank. The tree is his warm side. Um, I keep the lamp mostly on this side of the tank. Um, not in the middle, but in, like, on the side and underneath this, underneath, um, the tank here is, um, is a heater that heats up the glass here. And then he's got layers of, of shavings on it. But, um, so this is his warm side of the tank. And then over here where, and there's name Monty, where there's not a lot of light, um, this is the cooler side of the tank. I don't think it really vary, like it doesn't vary by much, but um, he does have a hot and cool side, um, as do all the, all the snakes. And uh, my son has a bearded dragon, and uh, he doesn't really let me touch it too much, but I think he knows that it'll love me more because all the animals do. It's because I have the food. Anyways, that's it for Monty. Uh, Thank you, and we'll see you next week.